Hello everyone, my name is Alex and today I'm going to show you how to do the SAT grammar section correctly and effectively. Here I have a copy of the newest 2019 October SAT test from Question and Answer Services from a student. And for the first time, I'm going to be doing these questions. And as I'm doing these questions, I'll be speaking out my mind so you know what I'm thinking as I'm doing these questions. Because I'm speaking and doing the questions at the same time, I'll be doing the questions slower than usual but hopefully I can still do it within 30 minutes. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Ready, set, go. All right, number one, uh, where was, so this question tells you an agreement. So you look for the subjects and the subjects are two people. So the answers are B or C and the answer is B because it's plural. Now, this combines the underlying sentences. They had dialectic differences. These dialectic differences grew into personal animosity. So should be about dialectic differences. They have those that grew into personal differences. Uh, growing into personal animosity. There are differences that's wrong. Uh, modify error also. Their differences also grew into animosity. Uh, also grew change of meaning. Despite their differences, uh, change the meaning and logic, so the answer is D. Number three, it's there, so singular plural. Constable moved one of his rival paintings from its central location. It's from one, so it should be its central location, not its is. Number four, provides the most relevant information to introduce the paragraph, so to read the paragraph. Conflict came to a head, talking about a conflict, and his painting depicted grand and uh, with bright colors and Turner's was uh, not a different kind of color and Turner was looking at his paintings and it was with paint with red and then he has been there, fire a gun, on the same turn, last minute edition. So it's comparing the two, how they're different. So choice A, the two artists prepared to display new work side by side. Uh, that might be right. More than 100 works were being shown, uh, not about other works, so B is wrong. Artists uh, limited to eight works, that's wrong. No work shown, previous shown, no, it should be about those two people comparing, so the answer is A. Number five, uh, logic. So uh, the first work is that his other work by contrast is right because it's different. Number six, a painting which console is adorning, which uh, maybe which or that. So he, he eyed his paintings, comma, who was adorning, adorning, so that's a run on. Paintings which he was adorning it, uh, the it is wrong, so it's probably C. Painting that it was being adorned, the answer is C. Deleting the underlying portion, so this part. Without a word, he left the gallery. Uh, look at the reasoning because it provides a supporting detail that reinforces an abrupt nature. Uh, supporting detail, abrupt nature. Without a word, he left the gallery. It might be right because it's abrupt for without uh, without a word. Num choice B, establish Turner, avoided interaction with others. Um, Turner, without he left, it's not interaction with other artists, so the end, so that's not it. Uh, it distracts from paragraph focus, paintings, irrelevant details. It's not irrelevant because the next part also talks about what he's doing next. So C is wrong. And it repeats information. Does it repeat? Um, it doesn't. So the answer is A. Now number eight, uh, punctuation mark. So you look at the sentence. The painter observed this perfectly uh, this thing and so at the same time his use of two different sentences a and b are run-ons uh, the second part is not a explanation so the answer is d number nine uh, test you on colloquialism so crowd of enormous nature is wordy 
large crowds is probably right tons of people so many people are informal so the answer is b number 10 paintings merits apostrophe so to judge the paintings merits should be paintings merits so number 11 uh, reflects the main idea of the passage and emphasize the effect of the painter's rivalry so those two things uh, landscape painting dips Plays neoclassical paintings, not about their differences. Um, despite their differences, the influence popular that might be right, popular for both. No uh, art critics debate whether they are. It's not a debate, so it's saying how they change things. Which choice effectively combines a sentence? So combining sentences, artificial light is not known to cause sleep problems uh, by impacting. So uh, problems because of its impact on, its impact is on not combining them. Problems with impacting, problems to the impact of, not right. The writer wants to conclude the paragraph with a detail for the passage. So uh, something about blue light, um, internals, so artificial light, makes it bad for sleeping, visible light, human eye, okay, so, um, increasing the temperature, for example, not about the temperature, and in part be destructing the secretion of melatonin. No. So this paragraph talks about some kind of light and the next part, but it's talking about blue light. So uh, not about melatonin and not about teenagers. And the answer is D. Uh, and as are, so maybe preposition. Uh, one and uh, from something, so it should be from something to something, so it's the punctuation marks. So number 15, light in the blue range emitted by the sun during the day should be one thing emitted during the day, D. Number 16, blue light wavelengths are the same source of light, particularly should be two sentences um hmm. so is it particularly oh should be one sentence because the second part is uh a fragment so light particularly those things number 17 uh computer screens to watch television so these are par these should be parallel so televisions is like computer screens number 18 uh, logic so these lights are the same by artificial sources like these. These devices affect our brains, so they are, are the same, so they affect our brains. Uh, so it's cause and effect, um, so it should be C, and it's also not A because A and B are the same. They, they're both opposite. Number 19. Um, Stalite, so maybe comparison, parallelism. Uh, these affect our brains and bodies much like, so should be uh, these devices much, they affect much like something about devices. So um, those of daylight, the way that daylight does, comparing the devices affect our brains like the way that they like us. How are you at a time? Okay, it's in nine minutes, that's fine. Now number 20, uh, Harvard Medical found, so it's a word choice question. A study found that the blue light suppresses the secretion, should be suppressed because it pushes down. Number 21, summarize the main idea of the paragraph, so Researcher found that blue light is good at elevating temperature and heart rate. And another study is about secretion of melatonin. So two different researches uh, plays an important role 
not A, because the first part didn't talk about melatonin. Um, and then since weight length outside the blue range, uh, that's also not it. Uh, testing body temperature, no, the answer is D, because it's about data, two different research. Okay, 22, provides second example, most of the example already in the sentence, so I have to see the example of the sentence. The best way to limit, limit blue light exposure and get a good night's sleep is to banish technology from the bedroom, so found something about that. Avoid time in front of the screen, that sounds right. Sending different chemical messages, that's not banishing technology. Going to the bed when the sun goes down, not technology, and that's also not technology, so the answer is A. 23, introduce passage most effectively. Uh, unfortunate, because I have to read the whole passage. So, careers in remote sensing. Um, remote sensing specialists use satellite information to do these things. So, that is a good thing. Using remote sensing has become more plentiful. So, uh, this is increasing. And then... Next topic sentence. Remote sensing also imp uh, serves important functions back on Earth. So remote sensing again is good. And then remote research on remote sensing suggests that it will continue to expand. So something about remote sensing being really good. All right, so back to 23. Um, let's see, career always been affected by development of aerospace industry. That part is wrong. Development about oh, crucial to the global expansion, not about expansion globally. Remote sensing is a career field that offers variety of options and opportunities. Um, there are different jobs, so the answer might be C at the most universities. Um, that's also not what the passage is about, so it's C. Likely, I'll come back to it later as I'm reading this passage. Uh, so it's probably verb tense, 24, uses, has become, so singular, uh, singular plural subject verb agreements, uses should be plural, so have become. Number 25, um, supercomputers too, so maybe uh, fragment run on. Uh, these spectra are then modeled and analyzed on NASA supercomputers to provide insight into the process that shapes. So this one sentence, so the answer is B. 26, the program employee light detection and ranging LIDAR technology. Uh, program employee, that technology and to which uses. So it should be not and, which should be which uses. So that is the answer. Uh, word choice question to measure distance to Earth and um, induce to get something should be to generate, to create maps. So should be that one. Uh, these maps of flat plane, so uh, maybe pronoun. Um, so look for combined them or those. So that's a pronoun question, combine them. So what is them? Uh, measured Earth, highly accurate topographical maps to assess for plane boundaries. So them is vague and those are vague. These maps of flat planes refers to the maps. Uh, it doesn't talk about flat planes, so the answer is B. 29. Our the chance of flooding probably will. So that's wordy, so that's wrong. Zones are likely to see, are likely to flood. That's probably right, because that's the most concise, and it is the most concise. Concludes a paragraph, so wrapping up what this paragraph is talking about. Uh, teaches remote sensing at Penn State, but this is not about teaching, so yeah, he's wrong. And then such data, what data is this? This is the data from the floor, the maps. B might be right. C, many companies use satellites, big technology. Uh, 
That's not about other company. So the answer is B, connecting with the previous sentence. All right. Support information in the graph. So I look at the graph. Uh, research on remote sensing suggests that the field will continue to expand rapidly. Uh, that looks right. Uh, and then dramatic increase in the salaries. So salaries, but the question is asking about the market size, which is not the salary. So B is wrong. And then field will incorporate new resources, new resources. There are no new resources. Budget constraints have powerful influence. Budget, not about budget, so the answer is A. Supports a writer's claim from earlier sentence, interpretation of the graph. So it's about a graph again. Earlier the sentence, um, where is it? Uh, here, a report by them projected that growth will be uh, 11 to 15, so this will be two, 2 to 3 billion, but that field will grow much quickly from 2015, uh, with the exception of 2019 is wrong because it's still growing, becoming a market of over 6 billion in 2021, that might be it, it looks very close. Despite some predictive fluctuation, no fluctuation, Increasing by another 2 billion is not enough, so the answer is B. Punctuation mark question. So with so many of them, remote sensing promises a wide range. No punctuation mark is needed. All right, timing-wise, we're about halfway through, but last passage. Number 34, then this, so it should be... Uh, Pronoun agreement. So what does this it refer to? This it refers to are largely put in the academic journals with whose steep subscription fees place them out of reach the journal. So it should be plural. The other ones are singular. Mega paragraph more logical, sentence three. So to rectify this situation, keyword, the results should be published, is freely accessible to the public. Uh, let's see, before sentence one, can't be right because there's nothing about this situation. After sentence one, every year research studies are conducted with the fiscal support of government entities. That's not a situation to be rectified. After sentence four, this arrangement gives private, should be available and benefit. That's also not a problem. So the answer is A, and the previous sentence should be a problem. Yet these studies are published whose steep subscription fee place it out of reach of average person. So the next sentence solves the problem. Number 36, patients uh, uh, fragment and run on question. So the passage says the NIH had open access policy uh, recognizing the importance of access to biological research uh, for patients, doctors, and others. Odd, looks too easy to be correct, parallelism. Number 37, um, recognizing, so this is their meanings, maybe modifier questions, yes, modifier questions. So first part, recognizing the importance, who is recognizing, um, not the requirements are recognizing. The NIH might be recognizing, not it, not any paper, paper doesn't, any paper resulting, yeah, not the paper recognizing, so it's NIH recognizing. Right. This sets up the example in the next paragraph, so I have to look at the next paragraph. Consider the case of Jack, who had a medical breakthrough, and he tested something really, he was able to do something really cheaply and his work is published free and the research that he found for free so he also got benefited from the free research paper uh, with open access he could not have receipts without open access so something good about jack being able to access these things for free increased public support for government funding not about their support for funding improved quality of the articles not the quality it's about money reduced time 
uh, not the time. Innovation stand from public engagement with research. That's probably it because Jack is someone from the public. He could not have retrieved these uh, research paper. Number 39, combines the sentences. So crucial to his work was published research he had found. So he found these three and research he found free are these so it should be found for free online included those who you found online included uh that's not found online including research have been published and that he has so that's wordy the answer is b found online that's too long including what he had found that was free too long all right, some are concerned that oh, uh, cheaper when compared with cheaper than, so comparison, parallelism. Online publishing is cheaper than, cheaper than, something is cheaper than something. Uh, word choice, as it, online publish, it takes out the cost, eliminate, is the right word. All right, last three. Um, one online publisher, the database that, then so it should be a comma to separate out these things. Next question, overall point of the paragraph. So let's go back to the paragraph again. Some are concerned that open access are too expensive to maintain, but it is cheaper than traditional one. So, uh, and they spend only $10, so that's not a lot of money. Then here, an expense covered by donations uh, might be right because it's covered, so money is not a problem. Each of these is revised, uh, not about standards, submission, not the subjects, user can notify, the answer is A. Conclusion summarizes the main argument of the passage. So at the end of the passage, proponents hope that provide basis for more medical innovation. It will provide the basis. Maybe the effect has its uh, public online are the way of the future. Um, maybe not the way of the future. Through its research is. For everyone, that might be it. It's global success shows government should be investing money in scientific research, not global success. Probably C, proponents hope that it will provide the basis for more medical innovation. Um, I think basis of innovation was talked about in more innovation is this paragraph. So that's not the main point. Um, and proves that online only publications are the way to the future. I don't think it's online. It's about or online only, online internet connection, not just previous few. Remember in the first part, it talked about um, research are published, so very expensive and it's outreach for the average person. So it's about where the public can get access to it. So the answer is C, done. All right, so in total, I spent about 23 minutes for all 44 questions, and I have 12 minutes left. And on a real test, I would, of course, use this 12 minutes to go back and check over the answers, or maybe take a break before I move on to section three for the math section. Even though the math section is pretty easy, and in the future, I'll make another video about how easy the math section is. So if I'm not doing these questions to a camera and I'm doing these questions quietly, I would probably be able to finish the whole thing within 20 minutes, maybe quicker. And you see how when I'm doing these questions, I'm not reading through the passages and looking at the questions and identifying what grammar points the questions are asking for. And by doing that, I can save a lot of time for each question. I haven't looked at the answer key yet, but I'm going to assume they're all correct and I get 400 out of 400, yay. But if you see any mistakes, please comment below. Hopefully this video is helpful for you to understand how to do the section quickly and effectively. That's it for today. Remember to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.